name of God. We just come to lift up the name of Jesus today. Hallelujah. Jesus, the, the God of our salvation. Hallelujah. The Savior of the world. We lift up Jesus Christ today. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. The name above every name. The name that at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Yes, my friends, you are going to bow to the Lord Jesus Christ. And God offers mercy today through his son, Jesus. He offers forgiveness for your sins. But you got to be willing to come to Jesus. Come to Jesus, my friend. Don't cast off this opportunity to receive the salvation of God. Because there is only one name underneath heaven that man can be saved. And that is Jesus Christ, my friends. For you are all going to stand before the judgment seat of Almighty God. And you're going to give your life into account, ma'am. And God offers mercy today. God offers grace to His Son, Jesus Christ. For the Bible says, if you do not repent, my friend, you are going to perish. Oh yes, the Bible doesn't try to hide it where you can't see it. It says that if you do not repent, you are going to go to hell, my friend. And God offers mercy today. God offers salvation through His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the call out to the gospel, my friends. God is saying, wake up. Wake up. It's time for humanity to wake up and give their life to Christ. Because, my friend, you're going to stand before Jesus Christ. And if you have rejected the saving grace of Jesus Christ, you're going to bust hell wide open, my friends. And God offers mercy through His Son. God pleads with you today. Consider your soul. Consider what you're going to do about your life. Step out of the world and step out into the reality of God and give your life to Christ. He offers salvation today. The Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever should believe in Him, that they should not perish, but that they should have everlasting life. God offers you everlasting life today, but you got to be willing to come to Jesus, my friends. You got to be willing to surrender your life to Jesus, my friends. You got to be willing to deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Because without a willingness, hallelujah, to come to Jesus, you will all be damned to hell. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 9 that it is appointed once for man to die and then after that the judgment are you ready for the judgment of God are you ready to stand before a holy God my friends because you are going to stand before God Almighty and without the saving grace of Jesus hallelujah you are going to bust hell wide open and I'm telling you today, my friends, this world has a way of captivating our attentions. We get stuck in the illusion of the world and we go through life not realizing that one day we're going to die. And then that day comes. Oh, we die. What will you do when you die without forgiveness from God? What will you do when you stand before a holy God, when you have rejected his son Jesus and he offers salvation today? My friends, the Bible says you will be rejected if you reject Jesus. And God's saying, come to Him. He offers mercy today. Today is the day of salvation. Not tomorrow. Today is the day of salvation. Not next week. Don't wait till next week, my friend. You don't know what's going to happen to you. You can die in a car wreck. Oh, you can die on the Branson Strip today. Where will your soul be? Where will you be when you stand before a holy God? Because God is offering mercy through His Son, Jesus, today. But you got to be willing to come to Christ. you got to be willing to lay hold of this precious gift of salvation that God offers through His Son, Jesus. Because, my friends, we are all going to stand before Him. And we need to wake up for a second. We need to come out of the distractions of the world. Because this world is a big old distraction that keeps you from the most important thing. And that's Jesus. Give your life to Jesus, my friend. Repent. Return from your sins. Turn to Jesus Christ while there is still time. 
The Bible says that your life is nothing but a mist. It's just a vapor. It's like a puff of smoke in a tea kettle. Once you grab a hold of it, it's gone. Oh, hallelujah. Our life is short. Is your life right with Jesus? Old oh, people, the clock is ticking. Your life ain't going to last much longer. Give your life to Jesus, my friend. Come to the cross. Get right with God. Today is the day of salvation, my friend. You're going to stand before a holy God. Remember that on that day. God offers salvation through His Son, my friend. But you got to be willing to come to Jesus. Are you willing to surrender your life to Jesus? Are you willing to give your life to Jesus? Are you willing to follow Jesus and pick up your cross? For I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Will you follow Jesus, ma'am? I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Ain't no turning back. Come to Jesus. No turning back. Come to Jesus. Give your life to the cross. Give your life in a life of surrender to Jesus Christ and he will change your life. He will heal the brokenness of your heart. For God has sent his son to heal the brokenhearted and set the captives free. See, humanity is held captive because of sin. But you got to be willing to come to Jesus so that he can break the shackles of sin. And take you out of the illusion, sir, and bring you into the reality of what life is really about. And life is about Jesus. Life is about heaven. Life is about hell. There is a spiritual conflict. And there is a battle for your soul. And God is saying, repent or you will be damned for all of eternity are you willing to come to Jesus are you willing to get right with God sir God wants your heart God is willing to forgive you sir for all the sins that you have committed come to Jesus come to Jesus Christ receive the salvation of the Lord the Bible says this that God never sent his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God has a desire to save you, but you got to be willing to come to him, my friends. If not, you are going to face God's judgment. If you reject the salvation of the Lord, God is going to reject you on that day when you stand before him. It's time to wake up. It's time for Branson, Missouri to wake up and open their eyes and come to Jesus. Stop putting this day off, my friends. You don't know when your day is coming. Oh, yes. You don't know when your day is coming. I had a friend that I used to hang with, and he wanted me to go to the club. And I decided not to go to the club with him. The next day they called me, told me he was dead. He died without salvation. He died without the saving grace of Jesus Christ. So he's in hell. And my friends, I am pleading with your souls today. Get right with Jesus. Come to Jesus Christ. He is a good God. He is a good Savior. He will change you and revolutionize your whole entire life. He will change the way you walk, talk, and think. But you got to be willing to come to Jesus. Are you willing to come to Jesus, ma'am? Come, y'all. You're getting old. You need salvation, sir. You need to come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We live in a God-rejecting society where society is engineered to make God unattractive. When you talk about Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ sounds so unattractive to the world because the things of the world got a grip on people's hearts. And I'm telling you today, my friends, if you don't wake up and come out of the things of the world and get your life right with God through Jesus Christ, you are going to go to hell. The Bible says that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth for all those who reject the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Ma'am, do you want to surrender your life to God? Sir, do you want to give your life to Jesus? Today's the day. Get right with the Lord, my friend. Get right with the Lord. 
I know that people honk their horns, but are you right? is your heart right with Jesus? That's the most important thing. We cannot honor God with our mouth and our heart is caught up in iniquity and rebellion because you are going to stand before a holy God. And I'm pleading with you today. Think about your soul. Think about where you're going to spend eternity. You are going to stand before God. Your life will one day die, my friend. You ain't going to live forever. And you're going to stand before a holy God. Please think about your soul. I plead with you today. Knowing the terror of the Lord, I persuade men. I plead with your soul. Sir, get right with Jesus. Come on, step out of the illusion of the world. Get your heart right with the Lord Jesus Christ. We pleading with souls today. God is calling Missouri to repent. God is calling Branson, Missouri to come to his son Jesus because there is an appointed day of judgment. And God has appointed that day where he will judge all the world through his son Jesus. For there is only one name underneath heaven that man can be saved and that is Jesus Christ. But you must repent and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out and that them times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Jesus wants to refresh in your life. Are you ready to come to Jesus? Jesus wants to save your soul. Are you ready to come to Christ? Oh, God is pleading with souls today. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus Christ. If not, my friends, you are all going to face the damnation that comes from Almighty God because of the judgment of sin. We live in a world where people are in love with sin especially in the United States of America. They so caught up in the comforts and the freedoms uh, that this nation gives to the people. They so comfortable and they just comfortably going to hell. They sitting back in their cars, they cruising strips on their way to hell. They sitting behind TV screens, switching remote controls, watching TV, comfortably going to hell. God is calling people to repent. My friends, we need to get right with Jesus. This is a serious matter. This is an urgent matter. There is an urgency in the spirit. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming to the nations. And God is going to shake the foundations of the nations. And it's time to get right with God. There is a last minute call out for people to repent. Turn to Jesus Christ. For it was Jesus that said, repent or you're going to perish. Repent or you're going to bust hell wide open, my friends. This is not a game. Your life is not a game. You're not going to accidentally make it into heaven, my friend. you got to give your life to Jesus. And God is not playing games. Oh, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For for whatever a man soweth, that he shall reap. You sow to the flesh, that you will reap corruption. You sow to the spirit, you're going to reap everlasting life. And God desires to save people today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Lamb of God. We lift up the name of Jesus today. For Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Donald Trump might be your president, but Jesus Christ is King. And one day you are going to stand before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Are you ready to give your account into a holy God? Are you ready to give account to a holy God? Because God is going to call your soul into account, sir. Are you ready to get right, stand before a holy God? Because God loves people and wants to save them. But this salvation comes on the grounds that you give your life to Jesus. You lay hold of that gift of salvation. You work out your salvation with fear and trembling, the Bible says. But you got to be willing to come to Jesus. Because without the saving grace of Jesus Christ, my friend, you're going to hell. Yes, all of you. If you reject the Son of God, you're going to go to hell. I got to tell you the truth. 
The gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news of salvation. It's the good news that you don't have to be damned for eternity. It's the good news that you don't have to face the wrath of God because you have broken the laws of God. All of you, you have all broken the laws of God and you are in need of a savior. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That means you sin, you sin, you sin, and you know you sinned, and you in need of a savior. And God has sent Jesus as a savior for your soul. But my friends, you need to be willing to come to Jesus. My friends, now is the day. Let's think about our, our souls. Let's think about our families. My friends, parents, you're going to be responsible for your children. Oh yes, you're going to be held in account for your children. We need to get right with Jesus. This is a call out to Branson, Missouri to wake up. God is saying, wake up, oh sleepers, wake up and rise from the dead so that Christ may shine upon you. God desires to shine the light of his son Jesus Christ in your heart, but you've got to be willing to come to Jesus and receive the salvation of the Lord. you got a choice today, my friend. You can choose this day who you will serve. You can choose blessings or you can choose cursings. You can choose life or you can choose death. You can choose heaven or you can choose hell. But I plead you with you today, you better do some serious thinking about the choice that you're going to make. Because once you step out of this earthly realm and you step into the realm of eternity, what's done is done. Your destiny is sealed. If you reject the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ, today, when you step into eternity, you will be rejected by Almighty God. And God gives all of you a chance. You will not have no excuse at the judgment seat, sir. None of you. None of you will have an excuse at the judgment. God will say, I sent a preacher to Branson, Missouri to preach to you. God's going to tell you at the judgment seat, I sent a preacher to go and warn you that you're going to be judged. And you won't have no excuse, sir, at the judgment. People mock.